Hello guys and welcome back to the Hypermind server. As always, this is Uljin. Guys, I'm sitting here at my brand new quarry and um, got some water problems. I don't know where that's coming from. I don't want to start any server lag. But for the most part, the quarry is doing really well. I was running a little low on coal and I wanted to continue my creso production for all of the, um, the railcraft stuff that I want to do. And we got a pretty good system going on here. Nothing major, but uh, I am getting quite a few resources as you can see. And um, the quarry is doing pretty well. So I actually came over to head out and get a few more stacks of coal. Uh, the coal coke production is going really well. I actually find, found out uh, after some experimentation that you can get coal coke from burning logs as well. Um, it actually produces, you can't get coal coke, I'm sorry. You can produce charcoal um, in a coke oven, but the byproduct is still creosote. So all in all, that's pretty good stuff, guys. That's some good news. Uh, we can definitely use that. Let's head back to the temple and yeah, here we go. So the temple, the outside still the same. We haven't done a whole lot up top, but we have done quite a bit at the bottom. So this episode, guys, is going to just kind of catch y'all up on, on what's going on and we'll get a little bit of work done as well. I really need to improve my entrances and get my books uh, realigned because I need to start being able to just come down straight here. I actually converted some of my creosote bottles uh, into a large tank and also I've been filling up the tank and I changed a few machines up and um, one of the big things that I created is this gravity chest plate. Uh, this allows me to pretty much go into fly mode whenever I choose just by hitting the F key and how I can fly instead of hovering with the jetpack and, and all of that stuff. I had some work that I was doing and it was really, really hard to do anything else with that jetpack. So the um, the gravity chest plate's nice. Not to mention I got killed a couple times by a creeper so the extra armor really is good. So this is the creosote tank and we are sitting at one almost 1.5 million gallons of creosote which is really really good you guys we're gonna be able to fuel this boiler with that I started playing around with steam engines a little bit and uh, the setup is a little ghetto right now <laughs> uh, pardon my French but that's just the way it is the uh, I got the steam pump powered uh, which is located right back here and as you can see the pipes full of steam see I still have to go with electric and uh, I'd, I'd actually like to go with something different outside of electric to get away from that I want EU to be powered by a turbine which is going to be powered by steam and that's going to create a loop but it's going to take me a little while to figure out how I want it and how to make it look good too but uh, up here is still the same setup that I have and I'm going to need to improve my water mill setup up top because I'd really like to overclock these uh, the Mesa Raider and stuff a little bit heavier than it's overclocked now and I can't with the current power setup so I've been talking with some of the other members and they're letting me go let me learn a little bit and, uh, and helping me out. I wanted to show you my setup that I have here um, to turn that steam pump on and off. See when you have steam running uh, it just drains constantly so I don't want to do that so I'll, I hooked up a pump to it um, and, a, and a switch to it and I also moved my rolling machine from that area over there to here and I put in a thermo thermionic fabricator and a carpenter as well. Um, Y'all saw the liquid transposer last time, so I'm getting my pneumatic stuff together right here. The uh, the thermionic fabricator and the carpenter um, helps me build some of the forestry stuff, which I have a little setup that I'd like to show you in here. Now this is just the basics. I'm kind of trying to learn this. The tutorials are a little outdated, and um, I've been wanting to learn forestry uh, since the beginning kind of but uh, the thought of being able to loop some continuous stuff is pretty appealing to me so I actually I think it is yep it's this wall I kind of made it hidden because I didn't want to go messing back there and make it look bad but this was a quarry that I dug out that started up right up there and right now it's not even decorated <laughs> it's pretty barren actually but I do have a little wheat form that is being produced and I don't have the best setup in here you guys but it's doing what it's supposed to do it's growing wheat uh, every once in a while I have to come cycle these seeds which I have room in my inventory to do now so I'll go ahead and cycle them and not all of them naturally um, 
so I just throw these seeds back in here. This is just a little wheat form setup. Uh, not the tree form yet, but it's getting there. And I just keep a few stacks. I actually borrowed that from Slipgator. He hasn't been on. I would have asked politely, but it seemed like he had plenty. So I definitely intend on paying him back when this catches up. But I needed a food source, you guys. And I was tired of playing around with carrots and stuff. So I'm going to do Slip's uh, bread maker and get that online as soon as I get my wheat production up. Um, instead of running back to his base all the time, I'd like to get a little bit more um, self-sufficient. But this setup is pretty neat that he had going. I copied this pretty much straight off of him. Uh, it's just a diamond pipe that uh, segregates which items go where. Wheat only is allowed here and up here the only thing that's allowed to do is seeds and seeds come up and they get in this barrel. Now I do have a pump linked to this wooden barrel here. Um, I mean this wooden pipe here but it's not pumping the seeds back in the uh, the form so I don't really know what the deal is maybe one of you guys watching could let me know uh, I got some electrical engines power that's coming from the other side uh, which you can kind of see if I go here and it's just basically stretching all the way through to my AESU on the other side so not the most not the best setup in the world but it's it's getting me where I want to go so it's doing what I needed to do passively and um, and allowing me some time to work the big thing on the over there you guys is gonna be my form area and ultimately what I want is I want to be able to make a rubber tree form and a wheat form um, give me infinite supplies of power um, uh, creosote I want it infinite supplies of charcoal Wow, man, who screams? Thank God for that gravity chest. You see what I mean? The lighting level is not the best in here, so I'm definitely gonna have to improve that. Some wrath lamps ought to make that difference when I can get around to it. But let's see if I have some glass here. Oh man, um, nope, not really, huh? I'll have to get some somewhere. Uh, do I have sand? Yeah, I got sand. I can always do that. Let's go up top and do that right quick. Oh, the joys of uh, live recording, right? <laughs> All right. So my macerator and my electric furnace. There we go. Electric furnace ought to do that pretty quick. Give me some glass. So this episode, guys, I'd like to set up that little um, that deal that I was talking to you guys about earlier, which is the um, the creosote setup um, and uh, the rail setup to gather um, all the coal coke and push it to that barrel. Naturally, sooner or later, with the uh, the tree form, I want the, um, the wood to be processed into charcoal, and it's going to create creosote. I, I still have to check the production on that, because the creosote production is 0.25, whereas the cocoa gets 0.50. So it's about half, but if I can get, get a continuous tree form going, which I got some ideas, and Ormond just helped me out with some ideas. Um, Albanac is telling me good night. Um, so what I want to do is get all of that stuff um, processed and I want it to be self-sufficient and I want the creosote production to be unlimited and to be pumped continuously to some liquid boiler, well the liquid fire boxes, the liquid fuel fire boxes and to power that boiler and that boiler can stay online and we can go to pretty much all steam power because we can create a steam turbine for our EU which is much better than that. That way the water mills can just power the teleporters up top like they were originally intended and we don't have to stretch power all over the place. So it's that's a long way to go guys and it's a pretty big goal but first things first we need to get the railcraft stuff online and we need to get a little bit of um, a little bit of automation going for our uh, creosote form because uh, what we have here right now I manually have to remove uh, all of the cold coke um, from it and I, I, I want to change that so uh, I gathered up a little bit of dark iron let me go ahead and fill that coal get this coal out of my inventory right quick uh, where did I move the coal oh I was out that's true I'll just put it here for now let's see coal boom yeah I'm, I'm slowly but surely transitioning to um, to get totally out of this area but uh, I'm still gonna use it probably for a rail station and a, and a train cart depot 
not too sure yet, but now my glass should be done as well. So I'll power up my gravity chest plate. I'm gonna try to start doing things a little bit, um, a little bit more consistently on Hypermind, you guys. Uh, I want y'all honest opinion. Like, I don't know if y'all would rather learn, uh, you know, and take from my experience, or if y'all would actually just rather um, uh, just me kind of show and tell what's going on. I'm so used to interactive and and LP that I really don't know how to handle it anymore and what you guys want. Uh, my time constraints are a little silly now, you know, every once in a while I get to play when I get a weekend or a holiday like I have now, I get to do a lot of work, but for the most part during the week I don't get a whole, to do a whole lot of stuff. And I'd like to make production quality stuff for y'all, but if y'all want to see pretty much almost every step that I take, I could do tons of recording. Um, now especially I just got a G35 headset if I am sounding a little different I'm sorry but um, I just want to get to where I can record more the Blue Yeti was just killing me as far as is the quality is excellent don't get me wrong but it was making life pretty difficult because every time a truck would pass down the road or anything uh, it was just unbelievably loud um, when people would talk in the house when the air conditioning would kick on the heater would kick on you name it yeah, I'd rather use my silk touch here. All right, so that's pretty much the bottom here. Okay, grab your suit. Takes a little bit of getting used to hitting that F button every time. So I want to turn all of this to dark iron just to keep the look. And what we're gonna do is run rail along this track. And I want this rail cart. Uh, it's gonna be a chest cart. And I need to put the, the the loaders or the unloaders actually all along this um, oh, it is solid all along this deal right here to where um, when a cart drops by they can just grab the stuff underneath it so let's see I think I have some of those set aside before I went to the quarry I emptied out my stuff all into this chest let's see some of the things we'll need uh, we don't need any of the pipes. We need the rail stuff for sure. Uh, don't need any of the engines. Got a chest cart done. Item unloaders. That's what we need. Um, regular tracks. Standard rail. And I know I'm going to need some redstone. And I think I have some levers on me. Yes, I do. Alright, we should be pretty good. Do I, did I get the holding tracks too? Sure did. Alright. So... Holding tracks are going to go, let's see, first let me place these loaders. It's a little tight quarters, guys, I'm sorry about that, but uh, let's see. Loader, unloader, that's what it is. Item unloader. Actually, it should be an item loader, right? Yeah, I think so. Actually, let's see. This is an item unloader. Ah... Yep, well, I do have the unloaders as well. Uh oh, I do have the um, the loaders as well. I always get confused between the two. So, let's... Yep, that is an unloader. Okay, so we need a loader is what we need. I have those two. No problem. Item unloader. Now, where are my loaders? I know they're somewhere around here. They're hard to spot. There it is, item loaders. They look kind of like the Spencers, all of those type deals. All those gadgets do. Okay, so item loaders, and we're gonna put them as the same spot as we, we did before. Now, this cart looks a little bit different. I mean, this setup looks pretty much the same. Let's see. Is it the same? Item unloader. Yeah, buffers, filters, pretty much the same thing. Okay. And item loader. So we're going to place all of these item loaders here. And... Oh, I keep forgetting to turn off my, my chest plate. Or I keep hitting it by accident. Loader, loader. I think this is going to be... I really hope this is going to short enough. It might not be because the chest cart is, let's see, can I place the chest cart underneath? Will 
it fit? Yeah, it fits perfect, okay. Yeah, I'm tripping. Okay, so this needs to actually be the holding track, which we'll put the holding track here, 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 and here. And these actually need to be Dorkon too. And we're gonna do like we did last time and we're just gonna put a powered booster rail right here. I hate to drop this out like that, but oh actually I could sneak in and do this here. Let's see. How about I put that lever hidden? Well actually I'm gonna wanna be able to access that, huh? Yep. I sure will. Always try to hide stuff, but then I think, man, I need to be able to reach it. Okay. So, to do that, we're going to... We'll just do that for now. We'll run some wire for it later. But that's going to power it. Yep, that'll work. Okay. So, everything else is going to be regular track. And just place that all along here. might be simpler than I thought you guys and let's see and this is actually just gonna stay with power all the time and we'll put that there I don't need to specifically power that so I can actually do what I, I wanted to do for the other one and hide it there we go now these sandstone can go right back where they were I hate those mob noises, they freak me out. Okay, so now what we should have with that chest cart is it should be able to go back and forth without no worries, just being able to hit this lever here and it'll power up this rail, send it across, load the cold coke. That's what I'm hoping for at least. So let's put the chest cart there. And before we do it, let's see, do we have to configure these things? I need this to pick up, let's see, filters, all, hmm. I don't think we need any filters at this point, I'm going to have to read more about that, but let's see what happens. Uh-huh, it's loading up all the cold coke, very nice. Now, why didn't it do it for this one? Is there no cold coke prepared? Oh, it must have just took it. Okay. Well, at any rate, it's got it all. Actually, so all we need right here really is a button. So it's going to come back and it's just going to sit. Okay. So now that we got that set up, what we want to really do is make sure... Oh, it's only got four stacks. Did it miss something somewhere? Or was there just no cold coke in that oven? Oh, I had taken it out, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's what happened. Okay, because it was charcoal. Okay, so all of this is set up correctly. And what I'd actually like to do is make it load into here. But to do that, I think I'm going to have to drop this down. I, th I don't think I can, can do that anyway unless it's up or down so with this barrel here let's see I would actually have to do an item unloader underneath the track and make that accessible so let's see what's the best way to do that instead of that hidden deal that we had before let's go ahead and kill that Okay. Dorkarn. I'm just kind of trying to figure this out as we go on camera, you guys. All right. So what I did before, let me drop all these items right quick and take one of these loaders. Take the boost track. Uh, I'll take. The, I'll keep the tracks. And these can go back. I don't know 
why I got that electrical engine. Coke, Coke. Yep, I'll eventually need that. Okay. So, let's pull all of this. This is an extra dimensional, by the way. Eek. <laughs> I always hate doing that. Okay. So, we need to set up the barrel right here. That's where the barrel's gonna be, and I don't have it on me. It's so messy. Okay. Where is the barrel? I see it. Okay. Let's filter out some of this stuff until we get the barrel. Sooner or later we should grab it. Extra dimensional upgrade, we can keep that. There we go. Okay, so the barrel. So the barrel is gonna go right there. And I have to put my extra dimensional upgrade on it. There we go. And let's load it up with cold coke. You gotta kind of be careful with these extra dimensionals because when they're full, if they bust, it's, it's some bad stuff. <laughs> okay. So now we can put the item loader on top of it. There we go. And that holding cord, holding track, right there. Now, let's reload this sandstone. I'm going to have to have an access panel for this puppy too. Let's see. to break up my floor I think I'll just leave I think I'll make a piston access panel right here is eventually what I'll do I think that would be the best scenario and right here yep okay so we good yeah piston access panel for that dork iron sounds perfect so for now we'll just keep it like that and see what happens and I have currently what 3676 in here okay so let's see what happens we'll run it again and it's unloading and it sends it back sweet and it all got loaded 39.24, so 36.96 from to 39.24. So it all loaded in. Man, that's perfect, you guys. Okay. So now I'd really like to set that that piston deal up right there. Okay. So I thought I had some pistons set aside. If not, I can make one right quick. It's not a huge deal. I guess we'll have to make one. Could have sworn that I had some pistons. Okay, so what do we need for pistons now? We need some redstone, some iron. Oh, look, pistons right there. I'm gonna get organized one day, you guys. I swear. Oh, we need a sticky piston too. So we need a slime ball, which I know we do not have any of. Let's do this. Let's go to slip space right quick. And poof. Here we are at slip space. Had some lag and got DC'd, all kind of stuff. Anyway, here we are. This is the setup that I was talking about, you guys. This is the, the exact setup that I got from Slipgator. And um, it's 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 pretty awesome. Between him and Ormanage and Minred and UK and Serp, they are just building some crazy machines. Uh, Ormanage, his, I'm going to do a tour for you guys sooner or later, but his setup is so radical, man. So we need some slime balls and Slip has this um, passive rubber array that he calls it, which the slime's kind of um, wherever it is. Yeah, here we is. Passive rubber array. The slimes kind of just derp around until they drown in the corners of um, the little underneath section here. And he's got some uh, obsidian pipes that are connected that all come to here, which pretty much just process the slime balls into rubber. So it's actually a pretty neat setup. And I think I'm lagging again. All right, yep. So like I was saying, the um, the slime balls 
come in here and there's also an electric furnace that cooks the slime into the rubber here. So he's got just passive rubber production all day long without a specific rubber form, so that's pretty nice. I'm gonna borrow some slime balls from you, Slip. Not that I don't, um, not that I don't appreciate you, man. <laughs> I'll come over here and take stuff from him all the time. I'm sure he loves it though. <laughs> it's like, yeah, my stuff's cool. Um, let me go back to Temple Azul. All right, so back at the temple. Oh man, I need to eat. I can't even sprint. Am I still lagging? Yep. <sighs> Sorry about all the lag, you guys. I know it's a little frustrating to watch. Server's been on and off lately. Like, sometimes it's great, and sometimes, well, it's the opposite. Alright, so. We are back, and we can put the slime balls to good use with a sticky piston. And we're only going to do one. We'll hide these for later, just in case we need them. And let's see here. Okay, so we want this to be out and this to be. How are we going to do that? Dorkarn's going to be here and we want that to be able to retract. So we'll actually need to go in a couple more. There. So we'll do a sticky piston here. And. We should be able to just place sandstone here and a lever. No, I'm not far enough back, am I? No, I'm sure <laughs> I'm not far enough back. Sometimes I just get tunnel vision. Okay. There we go. And that is going to pull it out. Now, let's see. I am still going to need... Hmm, to get that powered in, it's probably going to have to be here, actually. And... I think I need a redstone torch. Oh, there's Ormanage. Let me get my redstone together, you guys, and I'll show you the finished product. We'll be right back. All right, you guys, got my redstone torch placed, and that extends. That's where we want it. And we can now cover this up. Oh, I still got to put my switch. There. <laughs> I swear, man. All right. So, switch is down. It opens up. We can access our item unloader and our barrel down there and when it's not it's closed and just section off our party so we can actually let's see all we need now the unloader is down here so we can actually put our nether brick back I got my nether brick back let's see nether brick boom and I believe it was stairs but yeah it sure was let's change this up to stairs right quick boom and we can let's see how I have that set up just like that and I think we can set it up just like that Boom. Yep. That's done. Actually, we need a way in now. Yep. This is good. Okay. Yep. Now that's even. <laughs> I feel much better about it now. So cool. So that's about it, you guys. I had forgot to show you my piping for this. Uh, let's see. So this is all where my, uh, my gold piping is at, just to tank in for the creosote. These things just kind of feed it um, with the pipe pumps that I put with some redstone engines on the back. Uh, all of the redstone engines, as you can kind of see down there, are pumping away on some wooden pump, some wooden pipes, and they're uh, they're just piping it up to the tank with the valve on the back. So. 
that's the setup you guys what I need y'all to do is like I said let me know what y'all want as far as uh, recording frequency and and how much and stuff I can pretty much play this every day which I have it's just it depends how much tedious stuff y'all want to see and that's why I kind of did this episode the way I did just to give you guys an idea of what it would be like when I'm just kind of going with the flow and putting some stuff together so um, yeah just give me give me your thoughts you guys let me know in the comments and um, I'd appreciate it Thank y'all so much for watching, and as always, this is Uljin signing off. Have a good one.